Okay, everyone, let's start with the problem one. So from this one on, we will have different kinds of problems. So this will be just a problem solution. You can see and the, all the problems are selected from the book. So I hope you enjoy the problems. So the first problem says that we have a car with a mass of 2 mg. And then this mg also is a notation used in the book. The m means the mega. Okay, and then that means that 2 mg, that means 2 times 10 to the power of 6, and then the gram is 10 to the negative power of 3 kilogram. Okay, that means that we will have 2000 kilograms. Okay, that's the notation used in the book. And then it is originally traveling at 2 meters per second. They determine the distance it must be towed by a force of 4 kilonewtons so this force is 4 kilonewtons in order to attain a speed of 5 meters per second and then we have to neglect the friction and the mass of the wheels okay let's start to solve it it's not a it's not a very hard problem but it's just the application of the work and then energy principle it says that then we will have that work net is the change in kinetic energy okay or you can say that the total work from 1 to 2 is the change in kinetic energy okay that is the formula of this chapter so if you know this formula I think you will get the chapter very easily so let's start one by one so we have to first find the kinetic energy at point 2 and kinetic energy at point 1. Then we will find the left hand side. Okay, let's start one by one. So kinetic energy at 1 and then kinetic energy at 2. Kinetic energy at the 1. So it says that then car was moving originally at 2 meters per second. So that means that we will have the mass is 2000 kg. So it will be that 2000 times square of 2 by 2. And then again 2000, then we will have the velocity of 5 meters per second. Okay, and then that will be 4000 joules and that will be 25,000 joules. Okay. Then right hand side done. Now comes the left hand side of the equation, which is the work. So we need to find the work net, or we need to find the works. Okay. So first, let's identify the forces. So the car has a weight. Okay. There is a normal force. Oh, let me add the coordinate that will be x and that will be y okay there is a normal force is a little bit this way. there is a normal force then let's see what else do we have okay we have nothing then friction do not consider. Let's start one by one. So the force will have two components. One is that way. The other one is this way. And this component I will call it as F of X. And this component I will call it as F of Y. And then now coming to weight. Okay. I will add the weight. Weight is this way. And this weight will have a component in x direction. And it will have a component in the y direction. That will be v. Wx 
that will be w1 and then this one is 10 degrees so that angle is 10 degrees so this one is 10 and this one is 90 and then here it will be 80 and then 80 and then 90 and then this one is also 10 so we have 10 we have w and then this one makes 90 degrees and then the rest is 80 and then 80 and then this is also 90 degrees because this is ay and this is x and x and the y makes 90 degrees 90 degrees 80 and then this one is also 10 So we have the wx, we have the wy, and then f of x, f of y, and then the normal force. So now comes the work. And then I know that the work is the force into the displacement. Okay? And then this displacement is in x direction. Okay, and then y direction forces cannot do work. Why is that? Because if you take, I mean, because so they make 90 degrees. Okay, and then f into ds is equal to that f ds and then cosine theta and then cosine 90 degrees is zero and therefore it is zero so therefore we have to only consider the x direction forces and the x direction force first is the wx and the other one is the f of x okay and then we will have the wx is in that way so wx and then we have to multiply with the s okay that's the work by weight and this one is a negative why is that negative because w is this way the car moves that way that's negative and then because the since motion and then the weight are opposite And we add this W sign here. Okay, then next comes the F of X. And then F of X into the S, the same distance. Okay, that is the work by the force F of X. So let's write the right hand side now. Then WX into the S plus F of X into the S will be equal to kinetic energy at 2, which is 25,000 minus kinetic energy at 1 which is 4000 okay and then wx if you write it that will be w into sine 10 and then f of x is f of cosine 20 you see f of cosine 20 and then the w is 2000 times 9.81 so that one is 2000 times 9.81 and then the f value is given us 4000 okay so from here we can find the s very easily so let's do that okay so we have the 20 degrees and then I should convert it into the radians and then I have the 10 degrees and then I need to convert it into radians for 20 degrees I need the cosine of 20 degrees for 10 degrees I need the sine of 10 degrees Okay, and then the 
wx will be 2000 sorry the first is 4000 times cosine 20 4000 times the cosine 20 and the next one is that 2000 times 9.81 times the sine 10 okay that is d so let's add it here so this one is so let's make things clear so 20 cosine 20 and 4000 times cosine 20 2000 times number 8 1 times sine 20 okay then this one minus that one so that will be okay 351 52 let's say s is equal to 21,000 and then from here s will be 21,000 by the value here that will be 59.69 meters or s is 60 meters